Hey, what's up guys? Hard Leg Joe here with the What Deck Profile for my Drag Unity Beatdown Deck. For our monster lineup, we have three Heretic Dragon of Techno Fruit, three Drag Unity Senators, three Harvey Birdmen, three Darkwing Ducks, three of the Good Tuners, three of the Other Good Tuners, and one Drag Unity Bandersnatch. For spells, we're playing three Trade In, but for Tuners. Two terrible formings, one monster reborn, three anti hand trap grenades, three diet monster reborn with a refreshing taste of tiny dragons, three divine lunch, and three copies of dragon ravioli. Our only trap this time is three copies of infinite negation. For extra deck, we're playing two copies of dark arm drag unity, one negate factory, one omega lol, two dk baracus, one backup plan, two vagman, one gagaga -ga -ga cowboy, one boral, one skull, and one burst. Do 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 do. Also, Great Fly and the Drag Unity Link. The side deck I'll go over in a little bit. So right off the bat, I just want to say you can actually do some pretty sweet guard dragon combos with this deck if you really want to. Uh, but I don't like guard dragons, and I don't know if they'll survive the ban list long enough for us to actually get the Drag Unity Link. So I didn't use any of them. I'm pretty sure the guard dragons make this deck way more powerful, but if you came here looking for those combos, you're in the wrong place. This build focuses mostly on actually making Dragunity synchros alongside a couple bonus links when possible. Anyway, our main boss monster is this thing, Dragunity Knight Asalon. Ascalon? I don't know how it's pronounced, but I know that it's a dang good monster going second. It's got a whopping 3300 attack and a not once per turn effect to banish a Dragoonity from the graveyard to target an opponent's monster and banish it. With the way this deck works, you will usually have at least three Dragoonities in the grave after making this, sometimes more, meaning against some decks you could just straight up banish the whole field of monsters and leave your opponent weeping in a corner. As if that wasn't enough, if this card is destroyed by your opponent, you can summon a Dragunity Synchro with 3,000 or less attack from the extra deck, and it counts as a Synchro Summon. This lets you float into another one of our main playmakers, Dragunity Knight Barcha. Barca? Baraka? Whatever. This thing has 2,000 attack normally, but when it's summoned, you can equip any number of Dragon-type Dragunities from your graveyard to it and it gains 300 attack for each. Since Big Daddy Dragon over here is, you know, a dragon, this will always have at least one equip when you float into it, giving it a decent 2300 attack, enough to maybe chump block for return. But, if you get lucky, you'll have a whole graveyard full of dragons, equip five of them to this thing, and it'll have 3,500 attack, even more than Avalon or whatever it's called. In addition, if you make this thing normally, just with a whole bunch of tuners in the graveyard, you can actually use it to make a shit ton of link plays, which I'll explain later when I'm talking about the tuners. Uh, regardless, other than this, we have Crystal Wing, Classic Synchro at this point. I assume you're familiar with it. Psyframe Lord Omega, same thing. These are both good to go into first turn or under certain circumstances, since they've got some negation and disruption properties, and they can be built decently enough with the Drag Unity Synchro Engine. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and go over that now. Drag Unity Synchro Climbing is pretty easy, but it's a bit on the convoluted side, especially if you're unfamiliar with it. It essentially revolves around using and reusing your level 2 tuners. We have two of them, which are slightly different, but both have effects that essentially say, if this card is equipped to a monster, you can special summon it. Drag Unity Ducks can take either of these two from the graveyard and equip it to itself when it's summoned, and Senatus can discard a Drag Unity card to equip a tuner straight from the deck. These are both level 4 non-tuners, so once you have your tuner equipped to it, you just summon it out, and bam, you got yourself a level 6 or 8 Drag Unity Synchro. The reason why we can make 8 is because the Sword Face guy says you can treat it as a level 4 instead of a level 2, if you feel like it. You can only use it to make Drag Unities, though, which means if it's all you have, you can't go into Crystal Wing, Sad Face. That's why we play the other tuner who is always level 2, but has no restrictions on what you can summon with it. 
Anyway, whatever you make, it's most likely going to be a stepping stone, because both the level 6 and the level 8 synchro equip a drag unity from the graveyard to itself when they're summoned. So you just equip the tuner you just used to summon it in the first place, summon it again, because neither of these are hard once per turns, and use it to synchro summon something even bigger. So basically, if you've got Duckman and a way to get a tuner into the graveyard, or you've got Senator and any other drag unity, you can make your way into Big Papa ASCII art over here and do a whole bunch of damage. Alternatively, if you've got a way to get multiple tuners into the graveyard, then you can summon Baka Senpai over here, equip him with like four tuners, summon them all to get four dragons on board, and then go into a whole bunch of Link plays. Usually I just go into Boral Load or Skull Dread or occasionally Agave Dragon for that sweet 400 burn damage. But if you're into doing convoluted 10 minute long combos, you can also use these to do all the Guard Dragon stuff that I mentioned earlier. Extra deck aside, pretty much everything else in here is just an extender you can use to push through negates or to make even more extra deck monsters if your opponent has no negates. This Heratic Dragon you can special summon from your hand if your opponent controls a monster, but it can't attack. There's a lot of cards that can do this, but this is a level 6 dragon, which means it plus a tuner can get you into one of your big old synchros, and it makes great material for the Drag Unity Link, which I'll go over in a little bit. Likewise, Garuda the Wind Spirit, a level 4 you could special summon by banishing a wind from the graveyard. Good for Link material, good for Synchro material, and since all the drag unities are wind, you can usually get the stuff in the graveyard for it fairly easily. Cards of more cards let you discard a tuner to draw two cards, which is great because you want tuners in the graveyard and you like drawing cards. Terraforming is here to get Dragon Ravine. Dragon Ravine lets you discard a card to either search a level 4 or lower drag unity, or send one to the graveyard, which pretty much just facilitates all your plays and makes a lot of your stuff into one or two card combos. World Legacy Guard Dragon is a nice new tech. When it's activated, you get a level 4 lower dragon in your grave and either add it to your hand or special summon it, which can extend your plays even further or help you recover if your opponent kills one of your tuners while you're trying to combo off. Also, while it's on the field, you can once per turn target a dragon you control and move it to another main monster zone. Pretty much the entire extra deck is dragon, so this is pretty great. That way, even if you can't make a link, you can just get one of your synchros, move it out of the extra monster zone, and do another play from there. It's a pretty cool card and all, but Dragunity Divine Lance is probably the coolest card in the whole deck. It's an equip card for Dragunities, gives the monster 100 attack for each level, and makes it immune to traps for some reason, which is nice and all. But more importantly, you can once per turn equip a Drag Unity tuner from your deck to the equipped monster, which opens up so many plays, it's kind of nutty. Like, if you open up with this and any Drag Unity, you got plays. Even if you open with two tuners, you can normal summon one, give them the lance, equip it with a tuner, summon that tuner, and then make the link out of it. The Link, by the way, can be made with any two dragons and or winged beast monsters, which is why we play only dragons and or winged beast monsters. And when it's summoned, you can add either Drag Unity, Divine Lance, or Dragon Ravine from your deck to your hand, both of which, again, open up pretty much all your plays. In addition to having good arrows, it's also got a second effect that if a dragon is summoned from the extra deck to a zone this points to, you can special summon any dragon or winged beast from your hand in defense position. But for the rest of the turn, its effects are negated and it can't be used as link material. This can be nice to add a second synchro on the board if you've got like a tuner in a hand and a way to summon Garuda. Uh, it can also potentially be used to summon like Apex Avian or a Morphage Goliath from your hand, add some powerful stun and lockdown to your board. I couldn't find a way to do this reliably, I really tried to though. Maybe if you're a big combo maker you could find some way to use these. I think there's a lot of potential there. Regardless, all that leaves in the main deck is our staple cards, which we just ran because this deck actually has a fairly small engine, and it needs all the help it can get. It's a go second deck, so infinite impermanence is my hand trap of choice to slow down the going first opponent, and we search a lot, so we've got called by the grave to get rid of the opponent's hand traps. Twin Twisters is a great side deck option if either of these proves to be useful, just put this in, uh, likewise, you can put in just about any hand trap, Ash Blossom, Ghost Ogre, they all work pretty well in this deck. 
The rest of the side deck is pretty much just alternative extra deck cards you could use, but I couldn't find room for. We've got a lot of level 4 wind winged beast monsters, so Lightning Chidori and Xerophane are both great options. Though you can rarely make them, so it's kind of hard to rationalize putting them in the extra deck. Uh, Boral Sword is pretty much better than Agave Dragon in every way, but I like the idea that this deck essentially is a Link version of Gagaga Ga Ga Cowboy, so I put it in here just for the spicy burn damage win. Trident Dragon is a nice level 10 synchro that can easily OTK on open boards if you want a synchro alternative to Boral Sword. And there's a couple more Dragunity synchros I didn't like, but you can maybe make use of them if you want. Uh, fellow YugiTuber GCD swears by Gay Dirge, who lets you search and then discard when he's summoned. But that involves far more combos than I'm willing to invest in. Anyway, that about covers everything in the deck. I hope you'd like it. If you'd like to see Dragunity beat down in action, you can check out the main video. There I'll be playing 10 random duels against opponents on YGO Pro, showing off how this thing works. Or if you're short on time, check out the replay video. Both should be linked on the end card and down in the description. Anyway, until next time, good luck and have fun.